I have been so excited to share this workout with you since I planned it. That is because it is a no repeat workout, so we will not have any time to get bored and we're gonna give everything we've got to each set. Another reason, it is a full body workout and so it's just gonna be working everything from head to toe. And finally, this is a style we have never done before. We have the work timer set for 90 seconds today. So that is the longest work timer we've ever had. This is really gonna help us build some muscular endurance. And with that, I'm gonna tell you what we need and then we'll get right into our warm up and then start our workout. So what you'll need today will be your dumbbells and your mat. Some optional equipment that I am gonna use throughout this workout. However, if you don't have it, I will have modifications on screen for you as well. So you'll pretty much just do the workout without the extra equipment we have. But I will be using my booty band or if you have your mini resistance band, grab that and also a box. Now, if you don't have a box, you can always use a chair, a sturdy bench, a couch, a bed, something like that for some of the exercises we have. So with that said, let's get right into our warm up, and then we will start our workout. So opening and closing the arms first. So like I said, work timer on 90 seconds. With the 90 second work timer, you may not go as heavy as you would if let's say the work timer was on for 30 or 45 seconds. So pick something that is still heavy, but something doable for that 90 seconds. We're gonna do two more, then big arm circles back. Here we go, big arm circles back. So we really right now wanna get the heart rate up just a little bit, but work on work, uh, warming up the muscles and the joints. Two more, here's two and one. Now we're gonna take and reach overhead. So reach up and over, down and then back, over again. So just working from side to side as we go through this, try to take it a little bit deeper down. We'll just do two more, one on each side. Good, last one. Widen your stance, toes still forward. We're gonna take it side lunge and then other side. So hold it down just for a second, taking this only as deep as you can, but as you get go through the warmup, you can try to take it a little bit deeper. Good, a couple more. One more each side. And then we're gonna go into marching bum kicks. So taking those legs out wide, we're gonna march it out here, bringing those heels up. Almost through the warm up. Hey, if you wanna get your watch started now, now would be a perfect time. So if you like to track your workouts with your watch, I like to do that sometimes, just to keep track of what's going on. Almost there, here's three. We're gonna go into high knees and one high knees, pull it up. Good, a few more seconds. Here's three, two, and one. All right, so let's get ready for our first exercise. That first exercise is going to be an alternating Arnold press. Now, just to give you a, an idea of what I would usually use for my Arnold press, if, we were, if the work timer wasn't on for so long, I would usually use about 20 pounds. Today, I'm gonna drop it five and I'm gonna use 15. So that's just to give you a range here. Again, pick something heavy, but doable for that 90 seconds. So let's grab our dumbbells, get ready to go. Five seconds in we go. So bring it up. Here's three, two, and one. And press. Exhale as you press that weight up. Now, if you need to take a rest in between reps here, take a quick break and then try to get right back into it. So really try to stay focused the full 90 seconds. Over halfway. Good. Ooh, shoulders are feeling it now. Once you hit that minute mark. Ooh. So 
So if you are taking part in Bike and Bells, you know phase one is all about building a solid foundation. So we are really trying to work strength and endurance here. So mixing it up for these first couple of weeks. Almost there. Whew. Three seconds, two, okay, and one. Nice job. All right, now we're going into a heel elevated front squat. So I am going to use my dumbbells to elevate my heels. You can always keep this on the ground, especially if your dumbbells are rounded and they're not um, shaped with a flat side. I would just stick with a front squat. But doing a heel elevated squat is going to work the front of the leg just a little bit more. So we'll need one dumbbell for that front squat. Ooh, five seconds and counting. Here's three, two, and let's go. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips at the top. Push the hips forward, I should say, at the top. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe as you bring yourself back up to that standing position. So we're down, we exhale. Over halfway. You may notice the heart rate getting up a little bit more during this training session. Again, that's because we have this longer work time on. Well under 30 seconds to go though. We're gonna switch it back to upper body after this exercise. Ooh. Almost there. Good, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, now we're going into an alternating bent over row. So two dumbbells here. We've got 10 seconds. So shoulders rolled down and back, slight bend in the knee. We're gonna hinge at the hips, drive the bum back, bent over again. We're just gonna alternate sides. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze that shoulder blade around spine. Good, really squeeze. <sighs> my oh my. <sighs> Almost halfway. <sighs> Remember, if you need to take a break, take a quick break and then get right back into it. Under 30 seconds. Oh, you're doing awesome. I know this is getting tough. Almost there, then we get to bring it down to the floor for a chest press. Three, two, nice job. Dumbbells now for chest press. So if you're adjusting your weight, grab them quickly. Meet me on the mat. Oh, all right, we roll it back. So alternating chest press. We've got just about five seconds. Check your wrists now, make sure they're straight. And we go right now, here we go. and press.
Exhale as you press up. Now we're working the chest muscles, so really think about working those chest muscles. Squeeze as you press that dumbbell up. Almost halfway. Right now is where you need to bring your focus back. Don't let your mind wander. Don't worry about anything you've got coming. We are right here. We are right now. And we are making each rep count. If you showed up, I want you to make it count. goodness almost there <sighs> next exercise we're gonna need that box so just giving you a heads up because that rest time goes by very quick but we get to rest in three two one nice all right so now this is where if you've got your booty band you can put that on above your knees if you want to use that also grab your box if you have that we're gonna do a glute uh, the elevated glute bridge so that's what we're working on next, again, if you don't have your box or your band, you are just doing that glute bridge. If you have your dumbbells, you'll put those on your hips. All right, so getting into position. Five seconds and we go. And let's begin. So as our feet are elevated, we have a much greater range of motion. So still work on squeezing right here at the top. These next three exercises really are going to challenge the core and the lower body. So just giving you a heads up now. Not so you can shy away from this set but just so you know what to expect. Over halfway. Whew. Down and up, take your time, get that full range, all the way down, all the way up. Good thing is no dumbbells for the next two exercises. Almost there. Good, we get to count it out for three, two, oh, one. No dumbbells, so we can get those off to the side and out of the way. Now, if you want to keep your box, you can do that. However, you can uh, get the box out of the way as well. If you're keeping the box, uh, heels are gonna stay on. Either way, we're gonna be up in that glute bridge and we're gonna do an abduction, which means we're gonna press the knees out. So if you've got that band, we're pressing up against that band. Little move, just taking it out and out. Good, squeeze. Keep those hips lifted. Ooh. The isometric hold here of the glute bridge. Really challenging, especially now we've got this abduction. Ooh. Come on, keep it up strong. You're doing awesome. Over halfway. Now, if you need to take a break, maybe you just hold this glute position. If you need to take it all the way down, you can, but again, try to get right back into it. Good. We are two workouts into this three 
exercise burn that we got going on. And we're almost to the end here. Good, in three, two, one. Bring it down, another challenge. We're gonna hold the glute bridge, this time no box though. So you can get the box right out of the way. You can keep the band on if you want. We are going to hold in glute bridge and we're gonna march it out. So we're gonna bring it up and we're just gonna march those legs out. So make sure you still have the weight in your heels. This is gonna work the quads a little bit too, but keep those hips up. All right, we go in three seconds, two and one. Here we go, we're gonna march it out. Just extending that leg. Keep those hips up, squeeze the glutes. Amazing job. Oh my goodness. Core is gonna be nice and warm for our ab work next, that's for sure. Remember, if you start to feel those hips sag, squeeze the glutes, drive those hips up towards the sky. You can always take a break by just holding the ISO hold here of the glute bridge. Under 30 seconds. Can you feel the top of the legs working on this one? We've worked it all within these last three exercises. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring it down, band is off. No more band. We're going in for a cross body crunch. Now you can keep it solid and just keep those feet on the ground, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee, or you can intensify it a little bit by bringing your knee in to meet your elbow. But right here, breathe. Feels so good not to be in a glute bridge, I'm gonna tell you that. All right, we go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. So alternate sides. And exhale as you squeeze. <sighs> exhale as you crunch up. Really get that crunch. Think about meeting your rib cage down towards your hip. Almost halfway. <sighs> Come on, under 30 seconds to go. Keep marching it out. If you're adding those legs, either way, get those shoulder blades up. Almost there. Good, three, two, one. Stretch it out for a second. Next thing we're going into is a pullover. So this is where we're gonna need one dumbbell. This is, I love this exercise. It just, it works the core. You've got a little bit of triceps, working the chest, the lats. So grab your dumbbell. Oh. We've got under 10 seconds and we go. So let's bring it up. We go in three seconds. Here's two and one. Exhale when you pull back up. And think about bringing those hands just straight up towards the ceiling. Oof. 
So arms are almost perpendicular here to the floor. So you don't need to try to pull over too far. But really control the weight down. Take your time as you lower. And then squeeze. I really like to think about squeezing my abs here as I pull back up. Ooh. You are rocking it. This 90 seconds has been a serious challenge, but I'll tell you what, we are building that endurance and it's really gonna help on the bike for sure. Good. Just about 15 seconds left. And we're gonna go back to working the abs next. Good, here's three, two, and one. No dumbbells for this ab exercise. We are going to do four counts for toe touches or you can do a four count crunch and then we're gonna do a four count heel tap. So those are the two, um, two moves we're gonna work through. So if you're uh, going to work for the toe touch, bring those legs up. If not, you've got that solid stance here on the ground with your feet. We've gotta go in five seconds. And here's three, two, and one. So toe touches or four crunches, and then four heel taps. Count your own here, work at your own pace and exhale as you do the crunch. Really get those shoulder blades up. Remember, if you need a break, try to work through that break quick, get right back to it. Now you may, if your neck starts to get tired during this, you can go ahead and just keep your hands behind your head to give your neck a little bit of support. whatever works for you because this is your workout. So make it work. Oh, almost there. Ooh, almost there, here's three, two, and one. Nice, now we're gonna bring it up. This is where if you have your box, grab your box. We're gonna need that. We're gonna do um, an alternating step up with a lateral raise. So if you've got your box, grab that. Now, if you don't have your box, you're gonna see that modification on the screen. Woo. All right, so we're gonna alternate, step it up. When you get up to the top, lateral raise, and then down, switch sides. So leading with that other leg up, Slight bend in the arms for your lateral raise here. Keeping that chest up nice and tall, core is engaged. Ooh, almost halfway. Almost there now, under 30 seconds to go. Oof. Oof. 
Last one. Three, two, and one. We can take our box out now, for now anyways. We're getting ready to go into a sumo squat next. So you can use two dumbbells right on your hip, or one dumbbell in the center. I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. We're moving quick though, because we've got about 15 seconds left before we go. So legs out nice and wide, toes turned out. We go in three, here's two, and one. Keep the weight in the heels. Think about squeezing your thighs together here. So really think about pulling those legs in. And keep that chest up. Less than a minute. So that's good news. And we are well over halfway through this workout. Remember, keep your focus here. Down and squeeze. Good, almost there. 30 seconds and up. This has been so tough, and I feel like it is a serious accomplishment to make it through. 90 seconds of work, really giving it your all. So I just gotta say, you are rocking it. Almost there, a couple reps left. <sighs> Count down with me. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna need that box again. We're gonna need the box for a couple more exercises. So if you've got your box, grab that. Next, we're gonna do tricep dips on the box. So if you don't have a box, no problem. You're gonna do those on the ground. You'll see me doing those on the ground so you can follow that modification. Where is my handle? There it is. All right, so no dumbbells here. All right, so four tricep dips on the box. The farther, the straighter your legs are away, the more intense. The more those legs are bent, it's still intense, but it's not quite as intense. We keep that back and bum close, and here we go. So bending at the elbows here. Think about driving those elbows to the wall behind you. So you don't want your arms coming out wide. You wanna to try to keep everything nice and tight here. Good news I'm gonna tell you about. Two exercises left after this. <laughs> arms are shaking. Oh my word. Really feeling it in the back of the arms here. We got it. Under 20 seconds to go. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, we're moving on. Last exercise that you'll need your box for, we are gonna do squat taps on the box. So that is going to just really help us stay consistent with the depth that we take our squat. So it's gonna be challenging for that 90 seconds, but it's gonna keep you accountable here for your squat. So obviously the lower that you take your box, the more intense that will be. So grab your dumbbells here. All right, bringing our dumbbells up. We go in three, two, here we go. Keep your chest up. It's just a nice quick tap on the box. 
squeeze the glutes right here at the top. Ooh. I kind of want to hang out on the box. <laughs> that rabbit was like, nope, not coming back up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> now, if you are working without that box, just try and keep your squat depth pretty consistent throughout this full 90 seconds. Because as the time goes on, our squats can get a little less deep as we go. Almost there. Less than 30 to go now. And squeeze. We're gonna finish out with an upper body exercise. Good, here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Final exercise, you will not need your box for, just your dumbbells. We're going for alternating cross body curls. So get your dumbbells ready, box out of the way. All right, five seconds, shoulders rolled down and back, slight bend in the knees, three, two, here we go. Last exercise. So stay strong for this full 90 seconds. Good, and squeeze. We're under a minute now. Really think about that bicep, bicep, bicep muscle. I was combining the two. Bicep muscle working as you squeeze here at the top. Ooh. Oh, fun, we got a new word for the day. Under 30 now, so close. Everything is tired, everything is feeling it right now but we're also feeling energized. Because it feels so good to get strong. Come on, a couple reps left. Here it is, three, two, and you made it. Oh my word. Do not forget to get a stretch after that. That is a well-deserved stretch. You will find that right there. I will see you over at that stretch. Thank you for joining me. If you do want to find out more about Bike and Bells, make sure to check the link in the description and I love you.